welcome back guys. This episode, we leave Ambon and are on our way to Rajarampa. We stop at some beautiful anchorages, Dory gets upgraded with a new addition, and Dad dresses up as a woman. Wait, what? We are an Australian family that made our boat Catalpa our home and set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us in our travels as we share our life on the sea. So we pulled anchor from Ambon today. We're heading off. We're heading north towards Rosa Umpat. Whoa, virgin ground ahead of us, ladies and gentlemen. It's very exciting. Last time we were here, we didn't make it to Rosa Umpat, so we're super stoked to get going. And uh, our first first stop will be Missoul, right? Oh, we'll have a little few, a few little stops, but we're trying to get to Missoul. Our next stop was a group of little islands northwest of Ambon, 25 nautical miles away. So we arrived yesterday afternoon and it is beautiful here. You can see the bottom. Mum and Dad are just scraping the holes. I was just in there and it's so nice to be able to swim again. The sun is out and the water is crystal clear. Strings of Whenever we arrive in a new place, we always jump in our swimmers, pack Dory with our free diving gear and spear guns and go scope out our new backyard. This place was like heaven after being in the city. There was underwater caves and clear water and healthy coral. This little stop was a little slice of Ambon paradise. So it's Ali's birthday on Alakai today and uh, Lee's going to put a little song over the radio for her. Hopefully they're awake. <laughs> happy, birthday, happy, birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, Ali.
Oh, romantic. it's a beautiful evening, darling. It's a romantic afternoon on Nalakai watching the sun go down. Yep. Ali's birthday and we've got to go get dressed because it's party time. Party time! It'd be pretty dark, wouldn't it? <laughs> Happy birthday, Ali! <laughs> we came to party all night long. It's always fun making the dads dress up for our birthday party. <laughs> There's no shortage of cleavage here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Put it away, mate. And we don't need no beautiful little island that where we were at 1.30 a.m. Um, there was a little gap we had to go through so we tried to time it right so that the we weren't going against the tide. You picked the tide right? I don't know. I don't know if this ever stopped. We're still really slow going through there but um, we're not sure if it always flows that way and it gets stronger or or what. So we don't know, but we got through okay, and um, we're now not very far. We're about to pull up to an anchorage, and it's one o'clock in the afternoon. So we could have left later, but we wanted to keep it safe with the um, the little gap. We've had a we've had bad memories of going through a gap at the wrong time. So <laughs> so we're just coming into our anchorage. The water's beautiful, but. I'm devastated because we've been told there's crocodiles here and that means it can't swim! What? Why am I in my swim? <laughs> because I might be able to just jump in and out. Oh my god, no! Or I can use a bucket. I'll put a bucket on me. cold enough for you? Oh my god look at this ladies and gentlemen we're in the tropics and when you pull the beer out of the fridge and it's got ice on it like that hey that's a happy captain Now to make a happy mum. He's a good man, my dad, taking mum for a swim where there are apparently crocodiles. But she survived and by the look of that smile, we now have two happy parents. Alright guys, got myself a little double F250 GPS for Dory. This is so we can, it's only a really cheap little unit, it was a couple hundred bucks. What I want this for is so we can see the depths coming into anchorages. So I'm going to mount this on Dory's seat. I will drop Dory in the water 
and um, we can motor on in and see what the depths are. Have a transducer which will mount on the transom and there's a little battery which I'll probably just put in the side pouch in Dory and uh, we'll figure the rest out later on down the track. Main thing is just get this on so we can use it. Alright so I've just got a little, it's like a little motorcycle, ba a motorcycle battery and uh, I haven't got the charger set up to it yet but at the moment I'll just put the two clips on the front of the Honda generator and charge that until I get to Sarong and get a charger for the motor. But that's going to go in there. Ah, it doesn't need to be waterproof. I've got all waterproof joints. Um, I'll do that. Oh, that'll go in something like that. It's just easy. I can take it out just like that. Do that up. So the water doesn't run down the lead. I've just mounted that on the chair, so I can easily I can easily take that out off when we're not using it. Run the wires underneath the tube liner here down the back, and I've just got to hook up the transducer. It should even power on. Oh, look at that, guys! Let's have a look here. What do we got? Is it going to power on? Yeah, there we go, hey? We'll go waypoint and map. Look at that. Transducer's not working because I haven't uh, mounted it properly yet, but we have to see where we're going. Bring the dory in first, check the depths in certain anchorages that are uncharted and aren't marked. We don't need it in the boat, we just unclip that. And we just slide that off like that and put the two caps on like so and um, two seconds later two seconds later you could probably even just like put that out the road down there put that inside if we're leaving it at the jetty or something so no one takes it job done 200 bucks and Dory's got a um, depth sounder in an hour so we can go into anchorages we can check the depth and uh, yeah, not take the keel out on Catalpa. So I gotta get busy, cause sun's starting to go down. I've got Nalakai, Matt from Nalakai's coming over. I'm gonna lift this tender up on the davits so I can drill some holes in the transom and mount the transducer. And then uh, another job done. Uh oh, you know when the old uh, 5200's gone hard and you've drilled a hole in your boat, could be in a little bit of trouble. Oh no, there she is. Job. <laughs> all right guys there you have it installing depth sounders in exotic locations all around the globe cheers see you next time <laughs> Beautiful.